OK, let's try using de Moivre's theorem with a complex number written in rectangular form, in Cartesian form. Well, the key is de Moivre's theorem applies to polar form. So the first thing I do is write this complex number in polar form. So first of all, let's do a quick sketch. Uh, root 3 plus i. Whoops, i. So I'm interested in that length and that out, that angle, that argument. So what's the length here? Well, let's go let z, no, sorry, not there. Let z equal root 3 plus i. Then the modulus of z is the square root of root 3 squared plus 1 squared. Okay, root 3 squared plus 1 squared. Well, that's the square root of 3 plus 1, which is the square root of 4, which is 2. Did you notice we actually had a 1, 2, root 3 triangle hiding here? That's important because if it is a 1, 2, root 3 triangle, I know what this angle is. This angle must be 30 degrees or pi on 6. So arg of z is pi on 6. Therefore, z to the 8, what we actually wanted to find, is equal to um, 2 to the 8 times cis 8 pi on 6. Now, 2 to the 8 is a big number. Let me leave it like that for now. I'm going to work out its numeric value in a minute. But first, I want to work this out. This is 4 pi on 3. So, um, pi on 3, 2 pi on 3, 3 pi on 3, 4 pi on 3 is down here. This angle is 4 pi on 3. So I actually want negative 2 pi on 3. OK, if all I had to do was work out z to the 8, this would be fine. But my answer here is in polar form, and my question was in Cartesian form. So it's best, if I can, to rewrite my answer in Cartesian form. And the way I do that is I just replace cis with cos negative 2 pi on 3 plus i sine negative 2 pi on 3. Now don't stress too much about the positives and negatives here because I already know I'm going to have a negative real part and a negative imaginary part because I already know from this angle I'm in quadrant 4. But what are those angles? Well, the reference angle here is pi on 3. So this is minus 2 to the 8 cos pi on 3 minus 2 to the 8 i sine pi on 3. And I've included my negatives where I know they have to go. Then cos pi on 3 is cos of this angle. Cos is a half. And sine pi on 3 is root 3 on 2. So minus 2 to the 8 times a half minus 2 to the 8 i times root 3 on 2. Now that's a bit disgusting. I can simplify that a little bit. Um, this is actually 2 to the 7. Minus 2 to the 7. Minus, again, 2 to the 7, root 3, i. And here is where I think maybe it's worth replacing these with numbers. 128 minus 128 root 3 i. And make sure your i's are well outside the square root. If it's not too clear from the way you write, put the i in front instead. 